in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make an intro slide in powerpoint and this is how the slide works when i click you can see here the aeroplane comes and it will reveal the text you can replace the text with any of your text and have added some uh, clouds effect which are uh, passing through you can see here and one more slide which i have made it the similar slide you can see here but i've just changed the font color to black and i've add some custom uh, cloud effects here so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and then i'm just going to zoom out you can see here and then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle i'm just going way beyond the slide area you can see here right mouse click you can go to the format shape or you can just make it no outline and you can give some different color maybe this red color i can give and i can make it transparent so you can see here our slides end here but my i have taken the rectangle way beyond the the slide area so let it be like this then i'm just going to add one aeroplane image you can see here which i have downloaded from the net so I'm just going to increase the size by holding the shift key and I'm just going to place it here. You can see here I'm just going to place it here exactly in the center or you can just go to the format and you can just say the align you can just say middle so ex exactly in the center of the slide. Now I want to cut this rectangle area so it should not cross the aeroplane wings you know so this area I want to cut it. So let me just uh, make the zoom in, you can see here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more shape to cut this area. For that go to insert shapes and from the block arrows I'm going to select the arrow pentagon, draw the arrow pentagon maybe here like this. You can see here let me just move the plane a little bit front and go to the arrow pentagon format shape outline make it no outline and let me just make it somewhat transparent so you exactly know what i'm trying to do so i'm trying to just cut this red rectangle just uh, before the any the our the aeroplane wings that has to be uh, removed so you can see here this particular uh, arrow pentagon i can increase or reduce the size by dragging the small orange point you can see here if you feel that if you want to do it more what you can do is right mouse click you can make the edit point also something like this so then what i can do is i can just bring it here till here and then you can see here this point i'm just going to drag this and from here also i'm just going to drag this here so it looks something like this so now i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this arrow pentagon and go to format merge shape and i can subtract this one and make it zero transparency so it looks something like this you can see here it looks something like this now i'm just going to select this aeroplane and uh, this one also uh, the red rectangle i'm just going to move it uh, this much uh, the, to the right and here i'm going to change the color to somewhat uh, blue color you can see here let me just move it far further here so that i'm going to add the text so here exactly in the center let me just enable the guides exactly in the center i'm just going to add the text here you can see here i'm just going to say welcome to my company i'm just giving anything you can write it here and i'm going to type the font as oswald you can make it somewhat loose and increase the size you can see here all right if you want you can just increase furthermore or let it be like that because it should not be visible when i bring the plane here it should not be visible you can see here what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this and then go to format just send to back so you can see here it is not visible even though if i bring the plane here 
so this is how we need to make it if you make it bigger size then it will be clearly visible so now we have added a background uh, this blue color then i have added this particular text now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to zoom out you can see here and then let me just put it 30 percent maybe then i'm going to select this aeroplane and this rectangle just move it so that when you are playing the slide the aeroplane is not visible so you can see here let me just what i can do is i can make it transparent so you know that okay this is our slide area the dark color and this is our plane so if i put it here on the slideshow it is not visible you can see it is not visible now i'm going to add the animation where the plane moves towards the right and then the text will be visible so to add the animation let me just close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select the plane first and then what you can do is go to add animation go to more motion paths and here you can select right can you see here right just click the right and click ok so you can see here the plane if i play it here the plane comes something like this but i want the plane to uh, fly further so i'm just going to select this hold the shift key and just drag this red point here maybe till this much you can see here this is our slide area so if i just play it here it comes something like this now if you want you double click this one you want the smooth end smooth start i'm going to remove if you want a bounce end also you can put timing let me just make it a slower and click ok so it comes something like this you can see here now it's time to move this red uh, shape also along with the plane so it's very easy i'm going to select this plane you can see here then go to the animation painter click on the our red rectangle so this is also moving you can see here and this one i want to move along with previous so as i say previous one so if i play now it moves something like this can you see here now what i'm going to do is let me just right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to remove the transparency make it fully this one and make sure that this text is not visible it should go be behind you can just say send to back you can see here now if i play when i click you can see here it works something like this let me just play again you can see here so this is how you can do your intro slide in ppt and one more thing if you want to add some clouds or something like that that also you can be it can be done let me just make it to actual fit to draw the cloud either you can uh, download the png format the clouds or you can make your own clouds using the shapes so i'm going to select the rounded corner rectangle you can see here make it fully rounded fully curved shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white you can see here and then go to insert shapes select the oval shape just draw the random oval shape shape outline make it no outline and this also white color just you can see here just give something like this press ctrl d to duplicate this you can just reduce the size if you want there are so many things you can just uh, do with this one you can see here if you want i can just further reduce the size something like this and here also and once this is done i'm just going to select this select all let me just zoom in out select this press ctrl g to group it right mouse click go to format shape and go to effects under shadow i can go and select this one which is the inside center you can see here sorry let me just do one thing instead of uh, grouping i'll ungroup this go to format merge shape i'll just say union and then i'll make it effects shadow then i'm going to select this one which is the inner center you can see here and increase the blur size you can see here and increase the transparency so many things you can do with this 
we can see here again reduce the size and go to format send this to back so you can just put something like this now if i play when i click it works something like this so so many things you can do you can do the animation to the cloud as well instead of right you have to make the motion paths towards the left That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.